Hey guys, finally sleeps here. I am extremely excited. Today is the first day of summer celebration, the new event from EA. We just got done with flashback and we had a 103 right mid Milner in there for us Liverpool fans. This one has a 106 Van Dyke hot off of ACL rehab surgery. Get him back on the field. Oh my God, get him back on the field. So I'm pretty excited about that. The theme is summer birthdays and with a little bit more. Tonight we're going to talk about what is a possible free to play, some guide strategy to the event that I don't think anybody else is talking about. Uh, we'll take a look at the players. We'll talk about it being a three-week event and what that means, uh, plus a few more tips that I don't think um, I've mentioned yet. Uh, first, though, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications here at YouTube. That way you never miss when a video drops. You'll also get notifications when we go live on Twitch. Make sure you're following along on Twitch. We live stream at least three days a week, uh, usually right before reset. So make sure you're over there as well. The links are at the bottom. Blah, blah, blah. Let's get into it because this is an exciting day. Summer celebration. It's exciting because of summer celebration, but it's also exciting because it is Suicide Squad Day. So that's all I'm going to mention about that. Let's get into it. Let's take a look at the event. Uh, but first, let's say, um, give a shout out to two newest members, the two newest members at FinallySleeps.com, Aza Hampton and Kishore Kanal. I appreciate you guys coming to the team and supporting the channel and everything that we're doing. All right, let's get into it. We'll take a look at it. The way this thing breaks down is we have Summer Sizzle up first, which Summer Sizzle is kind of sassy. It's seven skill games that do not repeat, which is, eh, I'm not going to be negative about this event. I'm excited because we have Van Dyke. So it does not repeat. You have seven skill games. They're not that tough. Uh, you get Beachcomber points and Fishing Lures for the odd ones. You get Beachcomber points for the even. So it's... Beachcomber and lure, beachcomber, beachcomber, lure, beachcomber. So it works out. You end up with 505 beachcomber points uh, by playing these for the day. And then at the end of the day, you get beach party tokens. So you're going to use those tokens over at the beach party tab. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, the, you started out with 21 energy. You can hold 21, but they refresh on an hourly schedule. It takes 49 to complete your daily. There are ads you can watch every day. So every day you have 21 energy and ads. And then there are also coin packs available. Just remember that once you play all of your skill games, you can't replay. So if you go into this thing all willy-nilly and piss away your energy right away, and you have 24 hours left in the day you're only going to be able to refresh 21 of it. That is the first tip. Pay attention to the energy. You do not want to complete this too quickly because it'll put you in a bind as far as refreshing your energy. Tip number one. All right. Now, there are milestones here that go along with this uh, that on the main tab. Mostly, it has to do with how many Beachcomber points you do. And there are two SBCs. We'll come back to those. Uh, the Epic one is important. You need to want to do that. But there is also... The 100 rated center mid for an FC Barcelona 100 Mariba. That is a good card to grab for free. And it's just an SBC. You just got to buy some players in the market, throw it in there. Wait a little while. You'll be able to get in much cheaper than what, you, what it is to dump into that SBC today. Moving on to the Beachcomber tab. This is the main map for the event. It looks very similar to Spring Break. It's a rebranded spring break, but again, we're not we're not going to complain about it. Uh, it is another three week event, uh, so you know it's it's EA's doing what they can to keep this stuff fresh. It's it's not the same event that we just had. The big difference is these 106s in the corner. Uh, you have Van Dyke on one side and Werner on the other. They are free to play, which is exciting. Now the second tip in all this is if you're going for a 106 to get to this junction. You can't just come across the top and down. You have to come across the top and down and straight down and over. See how this says complete right 11 and lower right 6 to get there. They are still free to play once we run the numbers. 
but it is not as easy as just picking one path. So if you don't pay attention and you start going, I've got plenty, and I start grabbing these players along the way, you're not going to get yourself there. There are beach party tokens available here as well. If you come down the middle path, there's one here. There are these beachcomber players that are possible on some nodes uh, that get you a one of these players 94 or higher up here. They are pre-ranked. They have decent ranks. If you're new to the game, these are not bad players to use to build your squad here towards the end of the season. But if you're looking for the best bang for your buck, go for one of the 106s because they are 14 ranked. It is a guaranteed achievable 14 rank. And the shards that are required to take like a rank 10 to a rank 14 transferring that rank into what you've got is well worth the shards do not discount transferring ranks and what it will do to you for the end of the season if you are already ranking up your players instead of using the transfer rank option you are going to get stuck at the end of the season that's why i constantly tell you guys to transfer ranks and use the pre-ranked players from events instead of ranking up that way you have a ton of shards stockpiled when preseason gets here so we'll take a look at that and see what all is possible you have some choice 98s at the bottom all of this stuff is auctionable which is exciting um, but we'll come back and take a look and see exactly what is free to play here in a minute the other thing to note is when you claim any of these nodes there is a possibility of a summer trinket which are these eight collectibles here there's a 103 player in 92, some beach party tokens, some lures, um, a couple of logos. You have surprised the uh, surprised emote, which is actually kind of funny. The animated fish, huh? Um, we have coins, and uh, the big one here though is these beach party tokens. We're going to talk about that in a second. The beach party tab is our standard player wheel. This refreshes weekly, which is is good. Uh, you're going to get uh, one spin every day for doing the login and completing your skill games. You get your 100 beach your beach party tokens every day. 21 event day event. That means you're going to get 21 spins right out of the gate. There are 200 beach party tokens down the center path if you're going straight down and over to get to one of the 106s. There are 200 there as well, so that gives you 23 spins there are 200 in the trinkets that's 25 once you start spinning these things it gets you all the way out here to at least the common most likely most of us will get the 97 right wing for free it should be achievable by almost everyone uh, if you do both if you get the 200 down the middle of the path that's 23 you get the 200 from the trinket that's 25 that means you're 500 short of the epic there are some other possibilities to be able to get those points as well the epic are sort of within range you're going to have to go heavy with some gems to get legendary as far as this goes now remember these refresh weekly and once you claim players they get replaced with skill boost coins and xp the players aren't really that big of a deal they're they're going to get pumped into the market they're not going to be worth anything the resources mainly the skill boost is more important here than the players just you can hold and do spins when the new when they reset and maybe try to quick sell players but really these wheels are more about the skill boost and the milestones than they are about anything else now the last tab is the fishing hole now what this is is there are three places to go put your pole in the water and go fish and no i'm not talking about my type of fishing fishing the market this is fishing for resources and rewards now every day a new catch of the day is released now there is a leak that shows what all of this is we'll take a look at that in a second but every day you have an opportunity to get here you have the three main possible rewards and then you can also grab another lure or scrap tickets you know you want the boot nobody wants to get the boot but if you do get four boots you can trade them back in on another lure now, because there is a massive luck factor involved here in doing this, uh, we really can't tell you how far down the milestones you're going to get with all of this because you're going to you know, get trade-ins, you get extra lures, you can get lures in the path. You're just going to see how far you can get. Hopefully, you can get to the epic, but that's 500 
spins. It's going to take a lot. Now, as far as which, you know, the, the big question is, well, which one do I fish in? Me, I'm going to go for the mysterious water. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, there supposedly is a little bit of a percentage shift. Like, you're going to get more coins in one of them and more XP in one of them and more boost in one of them. I kind of went across the board. I didn't notice much of a difference, and I didn't get anything using all of my lures today. But if we look at the leaks, this is the list of what we're going to get on each of the days. There are beach comer points in here. There are a lot of those beach comer points. Here, we'll turn it on. Day 5 has beachcomber points, day 11, day 15, and day 21. The beachcomber points will get you better rewards in that beachcomber path. That's probably the focus for most of us, are those beachcomber points. So if you hoard your lures for those days and you try your best to get beachcomber points, that does put you in range for an additional 3,000 beachcomber points. So now what can we do with all those points and all of the numbers and everything that goes into it? Well, let's take a look at it. So we'll turn this on so we can actually see what's going on. Okay, energy. You're going to start with 21 when the event released. There are 21 per day in the ads and you get seven per day in coin packs because there's seven coin packs. You open one per day, uh, 24 from the hourly refresh. It's basically on a normal day, not day one because of the 21 extra. You're going to get 52 on day two through the rest of the week if you open the coin pack. You need 49. That means there's an extra three per day plus the 21 at the beginning. You're not going to have to open all of the coin packs. But again, you need to pay attention because these are not replayable skill games. Which means that if you run through, use coin packs and everything and you get through all the skill games at the very beginning of the day and you're done and your energy refills 24 hours you only get to hold 21 of it you're going to miss three energy every single day doing it that way so you need to pay attention and not go into those skill games too quickly so pay attention to that okay um we have beachcomber points there are 505 per day for completing the skill games. There's 21 days, so that's 10,605. There is the first Summer Sizzle milestone, which is good for 500 Beachcomber points. You have the Beachcomber milestone number three, which most people are going to get with using 10,000 of them. It's another 500. Uh, let's see. That's the Beach Party milestone. That's for another 500. You have the Daily Login, um, which is the the map we haven't looked at that yet but there are 3000 available there and there are up to 3000 that we just talked about that were leaked available in the fishing hole that means there's a grand total of 14605 for a very unlucky free to play player and up to 17605 for someone who is able to hoard and grab all of those that are available in the fishing hole so 17,605 is the total max possible free to play. Now, what can you do with those numbers? Here it is. These are the possible rewards. We'll break this down. 106 Van Dyke or Werner is what I'm suggesting you go after. To grab that going all the way across the top and down and through the middle in a cover to meet that same spot requires 14,550 points. Now, along the way, you're going to grab 294 plus summer players, which you can get lucky with those. You're going to get 23 spins at Beach Party, which is the 200 in the middle node plus the 2100 that you get along the way. And maybe 25 spins if you get lucky with a trinket. There's the 92 left back that you're going to get from the 10K Beachcomber Milestone, um, plus in the SBC, that 100 rated player from Barcelona. Those are all possible for everyone who is maxing this out free to play. Now, if you get lucky with your pole when you're fishing and you claim those additional 3,000 beachcomber points, you can also claim uh, 102 on your way, 100 on your way, 
your choice of one of the 98s on your way, an additional 94 plus summer player, and it makes the 97 event icon Conavaro possible because you're going to have over 17,000 Beachcomber points to spend, and he only requires 16,000 spent, plus those 200 extra beach party tokens that we've been talking about to get you to 2,500, which are achievable free to play, gives you another 97 right wing. That is a massive amount of resources just by way of players. That's not to consider all of the boost that is available when you're 23 to 25, 27 spins over at beach party, plus all of the resources that you're gonna claim along that beach party path. It is a massive event because of all of the resources, which is the way this stuff goes. We have one event that is all about, you know, the games and stuff like that. And then the next event just seems to be all about resources. So now the last thing I want to talk about is here, the Sunrise Login Pass. Now this, every day, you're going to want to log in and come over here and claim your stuff. This is where those 3,000 Beachcomber points are that make up the difference. There are also Epic Shards and another 90 rated Striker. Again, free to play. That stuff is all possible. Now, if you spend 20 bucks, you can get everything on the bottom, which makes everything else a little bit easier. There's a 95, an additional 4,500, an additional 9,000 Beachcomber points, which is still not enough to get you to the event, the Prime Icon, but it does make up the, a big difference. Plus, 100 rated Renato Sanchez. That's if you decide to buy the pass. Now, what this event does do is it gives you resources. That is the main positive on this. That is the big plus that I want everyone to talk about uh, is all of the resources that are in this event, plus all of the rank shards that come with everything. It makes it very important to focus on what is possible. Don't play your skill games too quick. And go after one of the 106s because the rank shards through that 106 is worth it more than anything else. Now, the let's talk about the three-week event. People are complaining that three weeks is too long for an event. In seasons past, we've had event ends and then there was a break. There was always a little break between that and the next event. Uh, we don't have that this season. One event ends, another one starts. So think of the third week of the event as you're kind of settling down and collecting your players and and doing what you can is there's at least something to do that we didn't have last season while we waited for the next event to drop so that's all i want you to think about don't complain about it being a three-week event assume that it's because the next event is going to drop as soon as this one ends if we weren't getting a new event when this one ended i would be with you i would probably be complaining that these we need we need that last week dropped off in another event because another event's coming but don't don't just do it okay so now the last thing there is going to be giveaways from all the content creators for this our first giveaway is 106 verner or 106 van dyke given away to someone that uh each of the content creators uh gets to choose either through their streams on their Twitter account, through Instagram. So make sure you're following all of the content creators that EA has chosen to give away the everything that goes along with this. Mine will be on Twitch. So make sure you're following at Twitch for your chance to come in for a 106 Verner or a 106 Van Dyke. Uh, mine will be on Twitch. Pay attention to everybody else. Uh, everybody's got giveaways. I think some people are doing them on Twitch. Uh, there's some on Twitter. I think there's going to be an Instagram one or two, plus there's some on Discord that are getting given away as well. So make sure you're following along all those and uh, follow it Twitch so you don't miss it. All right, before we get out of here, I have a couple of shout outs to some supporters at, to some supporters at Twitch and finally sleeps. Uh, we'll do them real quick. DR123, Christoph, JMO, Darren McConnell, Vavoa, John Callahan, Evan Smith, Jonathan Downing, Politico, Paul Curtis, Kevin Ellison, Butt Munch, aka the ladies' man, John, uh, Cole Landrian, Todd Taylor, Kinsey King, Fat Scotty, Games with Dustin, and of course, FIFA Ruben, 
my brother from another mother across the pond uh thank you guys and i want to you know just say it, it you know i appreciate all the support three years doing this and it just seems to get better and better and better oh my god if you left now you're gonna miss out on one of the most important things that i haven't talked about yet because i didn't want to do it too early i wanted to wait towards the end here we go now we're going back to the beginning summer sizzle we have these two squad building challenges here now it was announced right before reset today that Messi is not staying at Barcelona. Now, because Messi is not staying at Barcelona, we saw an end of an era Robin pop up added into our last event. There is a very distinct possibility that an end of an era Barcelona Messi could pop up by way of squad building challenge in this event. I'm not saying it's going to. I'm not. It's. It is a possibility. Uh, I think it was leaked today on Discord that if they're going to do it, it has to happen quickly uh, due to licensing and uh, contractual obligations with you know being a Barcelona player, no longer a Barcelona player, it becomes someone else. Whatever. If we want an end of an era Barcelona Messi, it's going to happen soon, and it would come by way of content update with this event. Now, because of that, expect to see Barcelona players rate go up in value because people are going to be expecting to need them for a possible messy SBC. So if you have Barcelona players, don't dump them right away. Hold on to them. I am not telling you to go out and spend a bunch of money on Barcelona players because this is just speculation. Don't overpay for Barcelona players, but if you have them now, hold on to them. I mean, if you want to invest in some, I don't think it's a bad idea. I'm just don't don't come blaming me if it doesn't happen. I'm just I'm just hopeful. I'm very excited and I am hopeful that it could happen. All right, that's where we're gonna end it. Make sure you follow all the links. Uh, check out the new channel, Cringeworthy. Uh, those videos post on Friday. It's me trolling like how-to dating videos. It's completely separate than this but just make sure you check it out uh, check out the discord servers check out all of the links below and uh, check the description because I'll put the links in there to uh, Twitter where you and twitch where you'll be able to find the giveaway and as, as well as the new cringeworthy channel thanks a lot for hanging out as long as you guys keep watching I'll keep making videos